Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek of a Day, I'm Penge and welcome to Catadel. Now I love a good pun, I love a good wordplay pun and that is a very good one because this is a game all about building a medieval style settlement but instead of having that settlement populated by human beings, this game goes no no we don't want human beings in that settlement, that is boring, boo to the boring humans. So instead it's a medieval style settlement filled entirely with cats. Look at this, like these guys over here. So this one here, you're sort of a kind of labourer cat, I guess. You've got what looks like a kind of mallety hammery thing, and you've got some wood there. And this cat here, this cat here looks tremendous. Look at that. A sort of cat knight, if you like, with a shield and armour and a helmet and a sword. And do you know what? That cat actually does You look like you mean business. And a cat with a sword is a terrifying prospect. So yeah, I'd stay well clear of you. You're actually a bit scary looking. So yes, instead of it being a citadel that we'll build, probably in our settlement, it's a catadel. A cat, see what they've done there? Because it's one letter out from Citadel. Well, I thought it was a clever pun anyway. I mean, it does beg the question, did they think of the pun before the idea of the game? I don't know. Which way round did it sort of, did it come about? Did they go, I know, I want to build a medieval building game, but with cats. And so I went, hey, instead of a Citadel, you could call it a Catadel. Or did someone go, ah, oh, do you know what? Do you know what's interesting? The word Citadel is only one letter away from the word Catadel, which is, you know, it's like cats in a castle. And then they built a game on that. I don't know. I'm very intrigued. <laughs> I'd love to know which way round it kind of happened. So this is on, uh, currently this game is on Itch.io. And there is a link in the video description if you want to go and check that out. So it's on Itch.io. It's a sort of dev build. So most games on there are sort of being worked on and developed. But this particular version we're playing is free. It is entirely free. You can go and have a go at it right now. Grab it, have a go, play. You'll probably do better than I will, let's be perfectly honest. But um, yeah, so it's free, which is lovely, which is very, very good. And you can leave a tip if you like. Uh, Itch.io has that kind of tipping thing. So you can tip the creator if you so wish. So let's just dive straight in, shall we? Now, I haven't really played this. I've read the tutorial bit. There's a sort of page of tutorial help, but I've not actually played the game at all. So uh, here we go. Let's play ourselves some Catadel. Um, ooh. Oh, it looks lovely like a sort of watercolour map almost. So I guess we have to pick a place. Ah, level one, the forest. So we're going to go and build in the forest, a patch of trees right outside of town, the perfect place to start a new camp. Okay, I completely agree. So as far as I'm led to believe, there are three types of cat class you can have in this. There's gonna be villagers, there's going to be knights and there's going to be architects. Right, let's pause the game. Oh, and space is pause. I mean, we're already onto a winner. I'm very, very happy with space is pause. Um, okay, so we can rotate it round. Let's look at our little cat friends. Oh, it's, look at it. How adorable is this? <laughs> this is tremendous. So you are presumably a cat knight of some description. You must be a knight. So you're a level zero knight. You are an architect. Okay, so you can build stuff. And I guess that you down here, you two bods, are kind of just like workers, whatever you're, villagers. So Poppy and Sunny, which have good cat names, are villagers. Uh, Tomath is an architect and Leandra is a knight. Oh, we've got objectives. Uh, number of in-game days remaining to complete all the objectives. Oh, there's like little goals. Okay, so we've got to clear all the enemies. Not quite sure how I identify where the enemies are. Have 10 population. Well, I think we've got four. Yeah, we've got four, four out of one. Number of cats you have versus the amount of housing. Oh, okay, right. We might have to build some houses, possibly some cat houses um, and build a market level one. Okay, what are these big blobs of stuff lying around? A berry bush. Okay, right. So we want you possibly to go and get some food. There is only four food. That's probably a bad thing. So you go over there and harvest some berries. Meanwhile, you probably chop down some trees. You go and do that. There you go. So now you two will... Uh, oh, crikey. Okay. You two will very ponderously go off and do that. I mean, you are cats. <laughs> we have to bear that in mind. And, you know, cats can sometimes be potentially not not quite as, you know, speedy and, and willing to obey rules as, as we might like them to be. Right, let's build another house. So a simple cottage or a two-story cottage. So that takes 20 of our 10 wood. It takes, uh, what was that? Five, I oh know, 10, I uh, know, sorry, 20 of our 10 wood. It takes 10 of the wood, five of the stone and one of the gold. Well, yeah, let's build a two-story cottage. Oh, oh, that's lovely. Can we rotate it? Um, I'm not entirely sure how we might, oh, right, rotate is, is, do I press that to rotate it? I'm not entirely sure how to rotate the houses. Uh, do you know what? I think we'll just put it there. 
That looks lovely. Okay, so the architect is going to go and build that. Now, is there a speed slider anywhere? Yes, up there. Right, okay. So there we go. Ah, that's a little bit better. Okay, so they're bringing back wood and stuff. Ah, that's a storage location. Okay. Right, how do we do all this? Requires level one. Oh, hang on a moment. Leandra has entered combat. I should possibly be aware of this. I should possibly be aware of the fighting that's happening. And it's a bear and a boar. A wild boar. Uh, are you all right? Do you need some help with that? Oh, no, you've killed... And the boar has turned into bacon. Hurrah. Oh, and another thing that's going to turn into bacon. This is tremendous news. And bacon. Yeah. Okay, you've gone back over here. So this is where I sent you, was it? And then you're very dutifully picking up the bacon. Or whatever it is, the, the, the boar chops. Even though, even though you don't have to. Uh, oh, crikey. Okay. Okay, so we've got a house done. That is lovely. There's a thing that said Leandra can level up. There we go. Right, let's level you up. Level up this character. So you go to level one. So you get a point of stamina, a point of strength, and your intellect stays the same. Okay. Now they do have kind of wants and needs, I think. Yeah, you're a bit you're a bit injured. I assume you heal. So you've got strength six, intellect three, and stamina six, but you're kind of hurt a little bit. Now what does that do? What's that about? Um, manage apprentices. Ah, yes. Now, um, we've obviously not done this yet, but the architects and the knights can have apprentices. So for each level that the architects and the knights are, they can have that number of apprentices. So in theory, Leandra could have one apprentice. And the apprentice is learning to become a knight, I imagine. Maybe, would they be a squire, possibly? But whatever. So Leandra would have a little busybody to go around and sort of follow them around. And then eventually they would then become their own knight. I think that's how it works. Uh, we won't do that right now because we've not really got enough people. We've not got enough people to be getting on with this sort of stuff. We could do with like having a farm or something. Do we? Could we have a farm? Like how do how do we get more food? Stairs, roads, um, simple cottage and a two-story cottage. Well, let's build another two-story cottage. Let's get another one of those. Why can't we build it over there somewhere? Oh, is it because it's out of our territory? Right now, rotating it would be would be a useful thing. How do we go about right to, Oh, right. Oh, I don't, that's a bit risky. You have to click down there whilst you have the thing selected. Okay, that's fine. Um, where's the front door? There. I quite like the idea of having a sort of little mini street almost across sort of there. So put another one of those houses there. Right. Tom Afghan, level up. That was kind of what we wanted from this. Then we can have more things. So stamina goes up, strength doesn't, and intellect goes up. Okay, lovely. And then we've got a thing here. Ah, cats who want to join. Cleo the villager. Um, yeah, okay, that's fine. Yes, absolutely. Join. Y yes. Uh, accept. Accept your... Th not enough... Oh, not enough housing. Build more houses until there is a bed for each citizen in the town. Okay, right. Message understood. We need more housing then, please. So you need to get on with building this thing pretty sharpish. You are... Just gathering stuff. So Leandra the Knight is just going around just kind of busying themselves gathering stuff, which is quite nice. That's quite useful. Uh, oh, it looks it looks lovely. And is it getting darker? Is the day actually... Yeah, look, it is getting to sort of ward night time. That's lovely. That's really nice. I like that. Oh, right. Okay, hang on. When you've put that back in there, uh, you in fact... Can we get some stone, please? So you just right-click and they'll go and mine some stuff, which is very lovely. I do like that. Okay, so you can go and do some mining. That's fine. Right, we've got space now. So we can have Cleo the Villager for one gold. Yes. Get Cleo the Villager in. Where is Cleo? Are you Cleo the Villager? Hello, Cleo. Oh, you're so cute. Okay, right. Let's let's just zoom in. Let's have a look at you. Now, in the, um, in the sort of uh, the description and stuff... On the itch page, the actual game sort of homepage, it does sort of say, it sort of indicates that eventually each one of the cats will have their own kind of personalities. So you have to manage them because it's not a game where we're going to have, you know, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people. We're probably going to get, I don't really know how many, but you know, I mean, the, one of the goals here is to get to 10 population. So, you know, we're going to have dozens of cats at most and we have to make sure they're all happy. However, right now, I don't think it makes any difference. I don't think it makes any difference right now 
about the cat's sort of likes and dislikes. So I don't think they have any. Create a group? No, that's not really doing anything. Okay, that's fine. Ooh, ooh, tab goes around the different things. Okay, that's fine. And a lot of the cats have gone to sleep, which sort of makes sense. That's absolutely fine. Okay, so let's clear that little message. Oh, oh, hang on. How do I un? How do I unselect you? How do I unselect you, and as opposed to anything else? Because I don't really want you selected anymore. Oh, I'm I'm doing all sorts of things. No, get off. Right, hang on. Come out of that. There we go. <laughs> Just whack escape. That'll do. Um. Okay. You 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 seem to be quite tired. Can you just go to bed? Oh, you are going to bed, right? They go to bed of their own accord. That is very good. That is very good. I'm, I'm, I'm really disappointed there's not a giant ball of wool we can play with to increase happiness or something. I would love that if there was a giant ball of wool. That would be great. That would be good fun. Okay. It's got a little fire lit. And they're just gathering all those resources. So we've got stone. Right. Food is a thing that we need again. So, Sunny, go. Oh, you're going to have a sleep. Okay, that that's fine. Is everyone going to have a sleep? Yes. That's fine. That is absolutely fine. I mean, it's coming up to sort of six in the morning. It's sort of daytime again now, but there we go. Right, we don't need stone. We're going to need some more food, please. So let's do that for you. So you can get some food. And build the person. Uh, a road makes it easier to walk. Now, how does this work? What do we need to build a road? Uh, one stone. Okay. So can we have a road kind of going down like this? that to there that might be fun right you don't have to build that that just magically appears and then can we get ourselves a market because that's one of our goals so let's put the market uh oh, hang on hang on twiddle twiddle it round it looks mm, and once more there we go it looks better it looks like it sits more like that i think so uh all right bring it round put it on the edge of the path yeah like that i like that that looks good so that gives you something to do so you can go and do that right we've got What's this? Town popularity. Ah, by constructing buildings. That increases as we construct more buildings. So we've got to get more enemies, uh, kill more enemies, have town population and build a market. Okay, well the market is underway right now. So that will tick off. That will go didding and hopefully that will bring more people in. The only thing is we also need more housing. We need some more housing, I believe, because we can't get anybody else in right now. There we go. So our market's done. So we've selected the market. What do we do with it? Show shop. Buy and sell items. Ah! Oh, look at that. We can buy pumpkins. Or we could sell some stone. Or we could sell some wood. So sell five wood for two gold. Uh, okay. Do you want to do that? Right. Okay. So that's giving us some gold. Right. Okay. Okay. I'm tempted to buy some pumpkins for five gold. But what we need to do really as a matter of urgency is get some houses in. So... A Two-story house with two beds. So, yeah, so that is just for one. So that's one popularity plus four. That is popularity plus 15. So it does require a bit of gold and a bit of stone, but that's fine. So I think we get one of these houses in. So uh, which way is the door again? I think that's the... Is that the front door? It doesn't look like the front door. There's the front door. Right, so we'll drop one of those in there. So Tomath can level up again. Wow, Tomath is awesome source. Right, okay, yes, you've leveled up. Well done. Now we can build another storage chest. That could be very useful indeed. Uh, we do need some more food. We do need some more food. Right, you. Can you go get some food? Can you do that? No actions available. Ah, right, so you just don't... You don't actually go and gather resources at all. Okay, that's fine. So we need to put a house there to give us seven out of seven. And then we're going to need some more wood. So where is everyone? You're getting food. You are dreaming of chopping wood. Is that right? Is that what you're doing? You're dreaming of chopping wood. You're building a house. You're sort of stood there. And you're... Ah, right. You're just stood there. You're a villager. Cleo the villager. Go and get wood. Choppity chop trees down, please. And then we want the other one, eventually, to wake up from their slumbers. It's fine. They're a cat. They will have naps at various sporadic points throughout the day. Kind of come to accept this. Oh, they're so cute. <laughs> so cute. Right, we need you to wake up, please. That would be great. If you could wake up, that would be excellent. Or do I just wake you up? Do I just need to wake you up? Oh, there, there you are. Right, okay. So, Sunny the Villager, you're going to the... Oh, maybe you're getting food. Maybe, Sunny the Villager, you're getting something to eat. Yeah, okay, perhaps that was what you were doing. Um. Yeah, you need to chop down trees as well. So, go and get that tree. 
So this is good. This is good. Right, come out of that. So we're getting... Uh, is this on fast mode? Yeah, it is. Good grief. <laughs> okay, fine. Right. We've got ourselves um, another idle citizens. Who is idle? Oh, the knight's idle. Oh, that's sort of fine. I kind of come to expect that. That's okay. Maybe come down here. Explore over here, knight face. Have a little wander about over the... Where is the knight? There. There you go. Oh, you run quick. Right, yeah. Go over that. Oh, there's a, there's a thing. Go and kill the wild boar before it actually kills one of our people. Yeah. Go on. Killy kill. Kill any kill. Kill any kill. Combat entered and... Boom. Oh, no, no. Yay. Dead. Uh, oh, and you're going straight in for... Oh, there's two of them. There's two of them. There's two of them. There's two of them. Look out. Look out, lovely cat knight. Kill them in the face. Chop them up. Yeah. Bacon time. Oh, it's, it's a glorious evening. It's a glorious foodie evening. Right, we need to do this. Um, Apollo and Architect. So we can have another builder, but we do need another villager. So we'll have you, not enough food units currently in the town inventory. Oh, dearie me. Okay. We need more food. Well, actually, that will be good when they've bought all that food back. When you've got all that back, that will be good. And in the meantime, you go get berries. That is fine. Um, we've got, do you know what? We've got plenty of wood now. You get berries and you get berries. Everyone go get berries. Get food. Food is important. However, there is now seven food in there. So I think we get the villager in. So yay, we'll accept you. Pandora has joined. And we might as well get you in as well. Apollo the architect. So yeah, all right. You can live in the two-story cottage. Why not? And then what we'll do is let's get... Who's the new one? Not Apollo. Pandora. So where's the knight? Where's the knight gone? Has the knight gone for a sleep, possibly? Uh, ah, yes, the right. Okay, okay. Leandra's gone for a little sleep. That's fine. I don't so much mind that right now. So they've come in. They've just helped themselves to the food. Thanks. Um, I want you, you there, Pandora, to be like the, what Leandra's kind of slave or whatever it is. Whatever the terminology is, the sort of apprentice. I think that might be quite useful. Oh, mood 15 for having a little, a little break. Oh, that's nice. Okay, so there is a little thing like that. Okay, lovely. Having a little sleep, a little a little rest, a little lovely rest. Um, there is some food, or there was food over here. Has it gone off? Or has it vanished? Or did someone go and pick it up? There is ten food. So, oh, okay, and it's going up and up and up. Okay, now the only thing about this is there is a boar just there. And I don't want us to get killed by a boar. That would be bad. Right, I want the knight to come out. We need the knight to finish doing whatever it is they're doing in there. Grooming themselves and all that kind of stuff. All the catty things that cats do. Um, you, get that rock please. That will be useful. So you can do that. You, who are you? You're Cleo, you're the architect. You're Sunny. Uh, oh my goodness, the ones we want are just in bed. <laughs> Hurry up. Wake up. Wake up, cats. Okay, I think this could be quite bad. Because Cleo has entered combat, and Cleo is a villager. Right, Cleo, get back here. Run away as quick as you can. Oh no, Cleo, Cleo right, you need to get out here right now. <laughs> you need to go, Cleo, no, don't kill Cleo. Cleo, no. <laughs> right, that's it. Get these people, get them. Get them in the face, kill the boars in the face. Kill it to kill. You don't, don't everyone else wander this way, you spanners. Don't come this way. <laughs> There's things. There's things. Our knight is very quickly turning things into bacon. There we go. Delicious, delicious bacon. I'm sorry, Cleo. That was that was that was poor planning on my behalf. Sorry. Also, let's do let's do this. Let's get ourselves an apprentice. So let's add Pandora as an apprentice. I don't know what that means for this whole game. I don't know, but whatever. Let's just see what it means. Right. And Tomath, uh, you can build us. Another storage chest might be a good idea. So pop that, say, um, there. Pop one of them there. And then we'll get ourselves a nice house. Uh, and can we fit that next to that one? No. No, we cannot, unfortunately. Let's see if we can put it down here. Um, I'm not sure I like the rotating controls very much. I find that a bit unnerving. The fact it's right next to where you can actually place the thing down. We'll put a house just there. So that's another two slots. 
So that's good. So more people might move in. The only thing I don't know now is how to get... Oh, of course, this is how to get gold. Of course it is. Upgrade. Upgrade the market to level two. Right, we don't have enough gold. But we could sell some of that. And we could sell some of that. And that gets us gold. So that gives us nine gold. Okay. That house will be complete and we can get two more people in. Lovely. Who wants to come in? Two villagers. Uh, yeah, Pepper, absolutely. And Junior. Yes, please. We will have those who so Pepper and Junior have joined the town. Hello. Uh, you chop down trees behind us. So it's nice and near. And you chop down trees as well. Nice and straightforward. And then we'll sell all of the um, stuff. So that needs seven out of eight. Let's sell another lot of wood. So sell that. And then let's upgrade the market and see what it looks like. Upgrade the market to level two. Bosh. Somebody needs to go and do that, please. And the upgrade thing seems to be stuck on the screen. Hang on. No. <laughs> oh, dear. Right. Oh, it's gone away. Yay. Okay. Can we upgrade the little house? No. No, we can't upgrade the house, unfortunately. I could do with more knights. I could do with more fighty ones. Oh, look at that. They actually go around and sort of do each little building. Apollo can level up. Beautiful. Okay, Apollo. Bosh. You've got yourself some more intellect. I think intellect is good for building and crafting time. Okay, that's good news. Um, so the next thing we could do is a bridge. Or some stairs. I don't know if we particularly need a bridge and some stairs. But okay, fine. Okay. Uh, we do need some more gold. We do need more gold. I don't think um, Tomath can build... I oh, know we can. We can build the final house that we need. Uh, let's put that house uh, there. Let's put it behind the other ones. Just there, where those trees once were. Um, okay, and I wouldn't mind checking what everyone's doing. So Cleo is going for a nap. <laughs> of course you are. Um, you, Pandora, are a squire. Certify as a professional. After completing training, certify this apprentice as a full-fledged member of their profession. Oh! So if I have 25 gold, I can then uh, elevate Pandora up to be a proper knight after some training has happened. Oh, okay, that's good. Oh, I like that. That's a good little thing. So yeah, they have professions and those professions are then used to, you know, then you can get them to be fully-fledged people. With a bit of money and a bit of time. Oh, I quite like that. That's good. Uh, Tomath can level up. Tomath is a, a giant. He's a he's an architectural giant. Right, okay. That's lovely. Um, three of them are not doing anything. Uh, okay, Pandora the Squire. That's fine. Uh, and Leandra the Knight. Why don't you go exploring over there? Now, do they follow you? Yes. Now, hang on. Who are you? Poppy the Villager. No, 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 Poppy the Villager. No, not... Hang on, what? No, not you. You go there, and you go there, and then Poppy the Villager at the back. I would like you to get some stone from... Oh, no, food actually might be more useful. Food might be quite prudent. There we go. Go and do that, please. Get the final house in. There are applications. Two more villagers. Scooter and Cookie. <laughs> Oh, but those are, those applications are going to expire. They're going to expire. So we need to use the market. Oh, look at that. We can do lots of things. We can buy we can buy wood now. We can sell metal. We haven't got any metal to sell, have we? So let's do that. Splendid. And then we can do this. So cookie. It's got to be cookie, surely. So let's go. Yes, we'll accept that. Not enough food units. Oh, no. And that's going to expire at four o'clock. We're not going to be able to get Cookie in. I wanted Cookie. Never mind. Right, you wander this way. I assume you two... Right, hang on. Can we group you? Yes. So we can group you into sort of group one. And then you are going to both follow each other around the place. Yes. Okay. That's cool. I'm happy with that. Um, I have to seem to do that each time. though. I can't just keep them moving. Or is it just because they can't go into those particular areas? Not entirely sure. Uh, okay, can you get sort of over there? Yes. Okay, fine. Do that. Um, we need we need food. <laughs> we need lots of food, everybody. Level one architect. Can you can you go and get food? Can you are you able to go and get us something to eat? Because it's slim pickings around here, and we're gonna have a lot of hungry and or dead cats very soon. Because <laughs> I can't seem to grow a farm. I can't seem to grow a farm. 
So we, we may need... Oh dear. I hope we don't starve. That would be unfortunate. Also, it's removed... It's removed the objective for build a market level one. I mean, I have built a market of level one, but then I've upgraded it to a level two market. And I've also got to... I know I haven't got 10 population yet, have I? I've not quite done that. And clear all enemies. However, yeah, I did do the market thing. <laughs> I've done that already. Why are you not happy with that? Okay, there's a berry bush. No actions available. Oh, you can't get berries. You are an architect. Oh, that's just irritating. Okay, never mind. Right, come back here and do nothing then. Right, you, Sonny. Sonny the villager. Go get berries. Okay, who else is doing nothing? Uh, Pepper the villager. You don't seem to be doing anything. Go and get berries. Uh, who else is doing nothing? Junior's having a nap. Poppy was set to do something. Sonny. Tomath is an architect, but he can't do anything right now. Uh, okay. Let's see where these two can go. Let's explore with these. Maybe, maybe we'll find some boars and then we can kill them and then that'll provide us some food. There we go. Go forth and fight the pair of you. Right. So they're hacking this thing apart. That should be nice and straightforward. That's turned into, into some food. Yay. Right. Okay. Pick that up and take that home because we've got no food currently. <laughs> we have no food rations of any kind and that's probably really bad. So those berry bushes are going to go. Um, we need some gold. Uh, because, yeah, if we go into here. So do we sell some wood to get two gold? Bosh. So we've got four gold. Now I could, if I did that again, hang on. We could do that and then buy some pumpkins for food. So that's five foods. So we've just bought ourselves a little bit of food, which is good. However, I don't think we can do this, though, because it's not got not enough food. We need 10. We need 10 food in there to get either Pip or Rascal, both of which are good cat names. Um, that one's quite strong. Rascal would be quite a good quite a good uh, squire-type person to have. But no, unfortunately, I don't think we can do that. Uh, food is very hard to come by. It's not like you can grow a farm or anything to sort of replenish the food. So once you've eaten all the berries... It's very, very hard to get food. <laughs> okay, fine. Right. Uh, up here then with you lot. Can you come over here? Yeah, go here, please. You two run over there, uh, which is good. So they're both going that way. Um, who is idle? So you're Apollo. You're uh, uh, Cleo and Junior are both villagers. Right, hang on. Can we just select you, though? I don't want to select all three. No, I don't want to select all three. <laughs> I don't understand how that works. Right, you chop that. You chop that because you can. And you, uh, I don't know what you're doing. You're going for a nap or something. I'm not entirely sure what's going on with you. Uh, new town applications have arrived. I know, but I can't do anything with them. I can't do anything with them. Um, you, you chop a tree because you can. You can chop down trees. And we'll just gather all the stuff. And it'll all be fine. Right, okay. Oh, you two. Right, okay. So team one. I'm not doing anything. Let's have an explore with team one. Go team one. Have a look over here. Big mountainy things. Over here. Kind of mountainy things. Over here. Ah, now this might be our last enemy. So we might get the clear all enemies thing ticked off. Yes. Right, we've done that. And they are going back home? Yes. They're going back home. Okay, so we've done clear all enemies. We need 10 population, which means we need a lot of food. Now, we can always use this to buy food. I'm just a bit concerned that build a market level one just hasn't worked. It's just not worked. Uh, and also, what did you need to do to get your thing? 25 gold. That is a lot of gold. So I think we're going to be spending quite a bit of gold going, yeah, right, so five wood, five wood, five wood, five wood, five wood, five wood. Because we don't need to build anything particularly right now. Uh, let's buy two lots of pumpkins. That leaves us with three gold. And that means we can get one of the applications in. <gasps> a knight. A pre-built knight. Um, I mean, do we need a knight now? We've cleared all the enemies off this particular thing. I don't think we need one now. I'd rather get Maggie, who can possibly build things. I don't think it matters, does it? That's strength. And what's that? What's that there? What does, does that have any bearing? 
Now you just have one extra bar of HP. Do you know what? Let's have Eli then. Let's have Eli the villager. Yay! Right, Eli has joined the town. The only thing is, <laughs> I think I have to build a market level one. I think I have to build a market level one. I don't think it's happy with the fact that I've got a level two market. I've kind of removed the objective by being better than the objective, which is unfortunate. But there we go. Right, where are the builder people? You, what do we need to build a market? Ten wood. Okay. We'll get there eventually. Uh, I mean, this is this is the quickest it goes. So we'll hopefully... There you go, 10 wood. Right, you. Build build a market somewhere. Um, do you know what? What about over here in this space now? It's a nice space. Rotate it round. Put it next to that house with a little gap. That'll do. Let's see if that works. And I think we should be okay. I think that should be okay. It looks lovely. Look at that. It's got light and the light is casting shadows. It looks very lovely. Oh, and they just sat around the little thing. They're just chilling out near the fire. Just going, ah, I'm a cat and I'm chilling out near a warm thing like cats do. That's excellent news. Right. Once this is done, I think we should be sorted. And ta-da! Objectives completed. Returning to level select. Okay, and we come back to the sort of the world map. And the next one is Forest Edge. So the edge of the forest as it transforms into planes. Citizens to bring. So we're bringing Leandra. We're bringing Tomath. And then some some other ones. Change citizens. Uh, oh, we can bring three more. Well, let's bring Pandora. Why not? Let's bring Apollo. And then which one did we like the name of the most? <laughs> you, Sunny. You're quite good. You've got five, three, four. You seem to be better than the others. So Pepper, Junior, Eli, Poppy and Cleo can be left behind. Okay, well, let's see what the uh, objectives are for level two, Forest Edge. Okay, build a bridge, enter the plains. Ooh, find the entrance to the plains and enter it and reach four stars town popularity. Okay, well, that'll just happen. That'll just happen by virtue of playing the game. However, we do need some houses. We are lacking in houses. Oh, and Mac is here. So we bought five and then Mac Who's a... Ah, here we go. A level zero farmer. Okay, this makes more sense. This makes more sense. So cabbage patch or a pumpkin field. Uh, it takes seven gold to build one of those. Right, that makes perfect sense. That makes perfect sense. And then a, a tavern. A tavern. Okay, right. Excellent news. Let's have a go at this then. So uh, which one of you is a builder? We need some houses. We need some places to live. So uh, how about one just there? That's nice. And then uh, let's just put it right next to it. One just there. And that is it for wood currently. So you're you're a farmer. Can you chop down trees? Yes, you can. You, uh, you are an architect. So can Pandora, can you chop down trees? And the knight can't. So you two, you two, who are team one, you can't chop down trees. So you can just go over there and be on guard duty. Sunny can chop down trees. And I believe you can chop down trees and you're going to go building. Okay, cool. Right, let's get that done then. Okay, Pandora is under attack. Pandora is under attack. Leandra, why have you wandered off? Go back over there. Go back over there and get fighting. Otherwise, the other one's going to be dead. No, we've just lost someone. Pandora is dead. This is a tragedy. Okay, you should be okay. You've got plenty of hit points. You are turning them into lots of lovely bacon. But we have lost one of our people. This is, this is terrible news. Gold bars? What? Why are there gold bars under the tree? But that's where some stone was. Oh, we've lost a person. I feel very sad. We lost one of our people. I feel a bit responsible. I should not have let that happen. Uh, okay, right. Well, let's build some more houses. Let's get some houses done. So that'll be six. So six places to live. And uh, there'll be an extra space. And then where's Mac? You. Right, Mac. There, aren't, there isn't much in the way of berry bushes. There's a few over that way, but they'll soon go. So we could do with you building some farms, please, my good sir. Uh, this can be farm territory over here. So we'll zone that as a farm and that as a farm. So a couple of farming spots. Very welcome indeed. Whoa, 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 whoa. There are many boars coming from up in this direction. Oh my goodness me, how many are there? Good grief. Sonny, run away. Leg it out of there right now. No, don't. No, no, Sonny hasn't entered combat. Do you, Knight, do you want to go and actually join in the fight? Or are you just going to stand there? Good grief. 
Okay, yeah, you are you are being picked on quite a lot, aren't you? You're just gonna stroll by the fight, are you? He's gonna get in trouble. There you go, you pick up you pick up some stone while your friend there is being hacked apart by a boar. But there we go. Right, Leandra can level up. Good. That gives us some more stamina. <laughs> How useful. Um, okay, we've got that. So now let's get another person in. Um, let's get oh, we haven't got enough food. Goldie. So let's get Goldie in when we have enough food. We should be momentarily, because we should be bringing those bacon bits in, I would have thought. And there is a boar just there. So if you... Yeah, you're picking up resources at the moment. Uh, there you go. Eight food. So now we can get someone else in. So let's get Goldie the villager in. Boom. So Goldie has joined the town. Hello, Goldie. And uh, you can chop down some some stuff. Get, get some, some wood, please, right now. And what I would like is... Uh, I would like another person to be training to be a knight. I could do with another knight, to be honest. Right, there is some food here, which is probably a good thing. Um, you, Apollo, can you... You're an artist. Oh, yeah, you can't do that, can you? Can you do that, Sonny? Yeah, you go over here and gather berries, please. There are an awful lot of boars lurking around near the edge of the town. Right, you... Are you combating? No, it doesn't like you're fighting. Right, what we'll do is we'll build this way toward these walls. So we'll go over here. We'll fight that boar. So hopefully we can take that on because they'll sprint toward that. That's the fastest they move, look. <laughs> Charge into combat. Right, so you can kill that thing. Nice and simple. There you go. Killy, killy, kill. Lovely. Uh, pick up the meat. Pick up the meat. Gather the meat, please, if you'd be so kind. And then over there, there's a couple of boars over there, but I would like them to have a little rest first. I would like them to have a rest. So let's get our uh, architect. One thing that would be useful in this game is a little list of all your people. I don't know if I can produce that. Ah, okay, right, I found it. I'll just shut up. Oh, a Mac has leveled up. Let's level up Mac. Uh, a Mac can have an apprentice. Oh, that's nice. Mac stamina has increased. Um, architect, Tomath, can you build another house, please? Build another house just there. So that gets us eight people. All right, no, not eight people. That gets us eight cats, which is fine. So eight lovely cats, which means we can accept a couple more of these. And then what we want to do is get you to have a rest because you need to heal up. But then you need to go over there and kill those boars. And then when they are dead, Tomath can level up. You are our best person. Uh, when they're dead, we can then get people to go over here and get those berries, which is nice. Also, can you build a storage thing? No, we've not got enough gold. We need a market then, that would sort of suggest to me. Let's get a market in play. And new applicants are kind of trying to join. We've got Mindy the villager and Sandy. Sandy and Mindy. Um, well, one of you is a bit stronger. You have got a point of extra strength, but you don't have much in the way of stamina. You don't have much in the way of stamina, but yeah, you do have quite a lot of strength. So if we get Mindy, get Mindy, and then Leandra can have Mindy as their little sort of uh, little apprentice person. So they can go and learn from them, which is nice. And then I think what we'll do is we'll save the next. Oh, don't go too far. Don't go too far over that way. There are boars. There are boars over there and we don't want you to get got. So now you... Ooh! I can see inside the houses all of a sudden. <laughs> I don't know if we're supposed to be able to see in the houses, but I like the fact the middle of the houses are modelled. There are indeed two beds and a little chair and a little staircase. That's nice. Um, okay, you can come over here and attack those, please. That would be lovely. If you could go and kill them, that's fine. Your hit points are all back up, so you should be okay. Kill it to kill. Stab those things. That's some more food as well. So yeah, we'll chop that. Chop, chop, chop. There we go. Right. Lovely. So now we're not kind of as much at risk as we once were. So what is everyone doing? You're getting berries. Right. Don't don't care about berries now. Trees is where it's at. Get trees. Go and chop trees down because now we can sell stuff to get gold. So now we can go through to here. We can sell five wood for some gold, which is lovely. Um, okay, are you harvesting these fields, Mac? Do you just get on with that, or do I need to tell you to do that? I don't know. I assume you just do that and just get on with it of your own accord. Um, remove this farm field. No, I don't want to. Can I? Can I un? Can I unclick that? 
I don't want to click on that. I don't want to remove it, tear down this building. I just don't want to have anything selected, please. Okay, Mac has leveled up. Now I think that means, yes, we can now get ourselves with the right amount of resources. So we need gold, a wheat field, and then we could build a tavern, which sounds very exciting indeed. So we need some stone for that. Uh, so I think we get a wheat field in first, because these fields are a good source of food. So if we go to here, and we just sell that, sell a little bit of that, lovely, that's 11, 11 gold. Go to you, you can then place a wheat field. Uh, that'll do. Why not? Put it next to the other field so it keeps it consistent. And then we've got a slot for someone else. Bubba. Bubba the villager. Absolutely. Welcome, Bubba. Come on in and join in the fun. Right. And now everyone else needs to stop getting uh, getting stuff, getting wood. You could do with... Oh, you're an architect. You can only chop wood. Who are you? Goldie. Uh, you are... Who did I assign as thingy's liege? Who was that? Who was your thing? Mindy. So Leandra and Mindy. So Goldie is fair game. Right, Goldie. Forget trees. Trees are old hat now. We want stone. We want stone, please, because we have entirely, entire. Oh, no, we've got no gold. We've got three stone. We can also get ourselves some more gold. Uh, bosh, bosh. There we go. We got some gold. Lovely, lovely. So what do you need? As a farmer building a tavern, it's a bit weird. So we need some more wood. That's fine. I don't know what's going on just here. <laughs> They're having an impromptu rave. <laughs> ah, brilliant. Okay, yay. There we go. Bugs ahoy. Can you come away from that? And can you come from away from that? You go and stand over there, do some guarding. Right, and then you are Mindy. Ah, right, so you're going to follow the other one around. Okay, that that's fine. <laughs> I like the weird sort of jiggity jiggity things going on. I think I'm just going to follow them around. Okay, that's fine. That is lovely. Um, yep, and then chop that down as well. That mineable rock would be nice if we get rid of that. So yeah, what do you need then? So we just need some more stone. We've got plenty of wood. We just need some more stone. And we've got gold as well, which is lovely. So we do need another house. We need another property in. So we could do with another house maybe just here. So that would be okay. So go into that, get Tomath, because you seem to be very good at building things. Uh, drop that there. So lovely. You can get a house in. And that will give us 10 people, which seems to be a good number. It seems to be a good number. I keep saying people. 10 cats. That seems to be a good number of cats to have. So now we just need to keep getting stone. So if you're just going to smash that apart, which is good. Does it just explode? Oh, stuff comes out. Look, that's where the gold bar came from. Right, okay. So gold... Does that give us gold? Surely it must give us gold. <laughs> Otherwise, it doesn't really make any sense. We're picking up gold bars and doing what with them? View contents. Gold bar, it's used as money. So gold bars just count as, as one gold, I assume, then. Okay. Uh, accept that. Right, okay. So they bring back a gold bar, and it's worth one unit of gold. So our gold should go up. It should, when you put that in there, go up 13. Wow! <laughs> Okay, that was good. That was well worth doing. And now let's find you. And you can go over here with your little helper, wherever they might be. Hello, helper. Where are you? Where is? Where's that one's helper? Uh, is that your helper? Gold. Oh, I can't remember who it was again. Who was your? Who was your buddy? Mindy. Okay, Mindy. Where are? Where's Mindy? Are you Mindy? Yes. Okay. Right. Can you just put that down? Can you just put that down? I'd rather you just went and did exploring. Because now we need to find the planes. So the planes could be over this way. Let's head over here. And do some fighting, it seems. Let's do some fighting. So, right, so we've entered combat. Leander is probably going to be okay. You've got an awful lot of hit points. You have an awful lot of hit points. And this is becoming very easy to kill these things. No, 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 don't pick things up. It's fine. I want to find the way into the planes now. If at all possible. Ah. I bet it's over that bridge. I bet it's over the bridge. Okay. Uh, Mac can level up. Oh, that's exciting. Mac can level up. Yes. Mac, where are you? Level up, my good sir. Boom. There you go. You probably become better at farming or something. I don't know. Right. We're going to get Tomath to come over here and build the bridge. The way has been cleared by our knights, which is good news. 
So that way is now open. Building a bridge is one of our goals. And I think the whole bit of land that we're on is surrounded by water. So I don't think we can actually do anything without going across this bridge. So that's going to be good. So get that done. Build a little bridge. Splendid. And keep an eye on him because I don't want him to get killed. <laughs> I don't want him to get got by anything. Uh, and then Mac. Mac the farmer. Can you build one of them? Yes, you can. Okay. Let's put, put pause time for a second. Let's build us a tavern, which sounds very exciting. Uh, let's put it just there, look. So we've got another room. How big are the fields? Four. Well, hang on. Let's move it over a tiny bit more. So let's put a tavern just there. That should sort out our town popularity as well. I think. Uh, increase town popularity by constructing more builders. Well, that was plus 25, wasn't it? So what do we need to get to four stars? 160 and out of 200. Okay, so we need to build a few more things. But do you know what? Not too much. And that bridge will presumably help a little bit. Does the bridge do anything? No. Okay, right. You, you can go home. Yeah, you have a little sleep. Absolutely. Go and nap. That's all fine. Uh, you, have you recovered? Yep, you're recovered. Lovely. You got full hit points. Okay, our two knights, or I suppose our one knight and our one squire are charging off into combat. Now, there are five boars. So we are going to need to kind of target each boar as a team. Now, I don't know if they're doing that. I really hope. Yeah, I think we've got them. I think we've got them. Oh, one of you is... Oh, the, the squire is very weak. But that is good. And that's a lot of food coming in as well. That is a lot of food. Now, is the is the inn... Is the inn is done, is it? Is that the tavern thing that we've got? Um, bar counter. What do we do here, then? There's a bed. No actions available. Try selecting a different character. Oh, okay. Well, let's pick you. Bar counter, no. Do we get, like, a bar cat? Like a bar, but not a bar man, because they're not men, but, you know, a bar cat. That'd be tremendous. That would be very, very good. So all we've got to do now is enter the plains. We need to build another thing to get the popularity up. So 151 out of 200. That looks like a very complete start. Maybe that means to get all the way to the top. Maybe we need to get to 160 or something. So let's find the builder cat. Let's find Tomath. Let's build something nice. Um, A road? We've got 12 stone. We don't really need a road makes it easier to walk but it does give us plus one popularity and it is 12 stone so i mean is it worth just going there you go there's a bit of road yay road so now we've reached <laughs> that was a very easy way to get some stuff wasn't it now we've got a little tiny bit of path there for no discernible reason but there we go i mean how easier is it well they walk marginally quicker they walk a tiny bit quicker so now all we need to do is find the planes. So let's go into uh, here. Now, Mindy is a squire. I would love for Mindy to be promoted. Can we get sufficient amounts of gold to promote Mindy? That would be great. I would like that an awful lot. If we could somehow do this. So can we sell enough stuff? Can we sell some of that? So can we go one, two, three, four, five, six. Sell... A bit of stone. Sell two more bits there. That's 22. Well, we could just go sell and sell, which does deplete our resources quite heartily indeed. But then we can click on you down there and we can then do this because you've had enough training. You've been trained as a squire for 83 out of the requisite 48 hours. So now if we do that. You now become a knight. So you're a level zero knight. Okay, that's good. That's good. Now, in hindsight, possibly I should have picked someone who had extra points of stamina. But you are strong. You are a strong character, which is good. So what we want is, we want you to go and put the stuff in there. And then go and have a sleep to top your health up. Because otherwise you're going to be really tired. So you go and have a nap. Uh, and you can, you can also have a nap. Both of the fighting people can go and have a little nap. Oh, next to each other, look. That's nice. Sharing the bedroom. Lovely. Well done. And then, when they're done, we will then use those two to go searching for wherever the planes might be. Um, also, ooh, hang on. One is blue. One is green. It says villager in green there and villager in blue. Does that make any difference to anything? I don't know. I'm not entirely sure. Let's get Daphne. I'll do. Yep. Hi, Daphne. Hey, Daphs. You come here. Um, stone. Go and destroy all the stone you can, please. There we go. Go and destroy stone. Splendid. Good work. Right. You two. 
Uh, cat, Mindy the cat, just there, and you the cat. So team one, so number team one, come here. Team one, you are to journey to lands new. Come this way. Come over here, and we need to find our way into the plains, wherever that may be and whatever it might look like. You are now explorers. Oh, goblins. There's different types of bad guys. There's goblins. Okay, right. The goblins are suitably easy to kill. Um, oh, and Leandra can level up. Yeah, we might as well do that. Lovely. I could do with Mindy leveling up, to be honest, because Mindy is fairly weak. Mindy is sort of weak, and we need Mindy to be a little bit tougher, if only in terms of uh, stamina, really. We just need another point of stamina to give her three, and that'll be perfect. Oh, right. Okay, this has got to be the way to the plains, because there's gobbos. So here we go. Yep, kill these. Mindy can level up. That is good news. I think we do that right now, Mindy. There you go. You've got yourself some extra health there. Lovely. Right, you kill the gobbos. You're going to go straight in and kill some more gobbos. There's an awful lot of gobbos. Careful, Mindy. Be careful. Mindy needs a plaster. Mindy needs a bit of a sticking plaster. Mindy is gravely wounded. Mindy, no! <laughs> oh, Mindy. Your tenure as a knight was very, very brief, but never mind. Right, so you're attacking these fortifications. Um... Okay. I mean, do you need to do that? Can you just go through here? Oh, and there we go. And that was the plains. The goblins were guarding the plains. Okay. So that has unlocked level three, the plains. But at what cost? Because poor Mindy gave her life. She gave her catty life to get these planes unlocked. And the description, the description just says a flat area with few trees, but lots of stone and minerals. It does not sound like the kind of place, the kind of inspiring, amazing place that you would give your life for, to be perfectly honest. I'm very sorry, Mindy. I'm very sorry you lost your cat life. You only had one. Why didn't you have another eight, eh? That would have been useful, wouldn't it? Never mind. And do you know what? I think we get the idea with that. I think we get the idea with Catadel. And I'm suitably impressed. I am suitably impressed with this. Because it's in alpha. It's in alpha on itch.io. Which sometimes, you know, some games in that particular state are a little bit rough around the edges, shall we say. And this, I think, is fairly polished. We only saw one uh, bug. It wasn't really a bug, was it? It was a, a, a little bug. A baguette. It was a baguette. A delicious baguette. Where the uh, the knight and the squire cat got stuck around the treasure chest and started doing the sort of crazy rave dancing. <laughs> but that was easily fixed. That was easily fixed by just clicking the actual cats and moving them manually. And then they got on with it. So it wasn't a game-breaking bug. And everything else has seemed fairly stable. The interface is nice. The graphics are nice. The sort of mechanics of it seem very, very good. I like the progression through the different areas. So you started here. And then this one, the last level we just did, introduced us to, say, farms and a farmer kind of character and that kind of stuff. So yeah, I'm suitably impressed. I like this. And I think when they add in the personalities of the cats... I think that'll make it even more interesting because you don't kind of, we didn't do much person management because they didn't really have their own individual desires. But I guess as they develop the game, the cats will start, you know, demanding various bits and bobs. So like Leandra might have said, I like pumpkins. I want pumpkins to eat all the time, please. So you have to grow pumpkins. But then another cat might come in. Tom Ath might have gone, yeah, I don't like pumpkins. I like, um, I like wheat. So then you have to make sure you have a wheat field. And if they don't get their needs, either they get a bit unhappy or they could just leave, I guess. I suppose that is a thing that could happen. So I think when they get deeper into the game and they build it in, I think this could be a bit of a sleeper hit. I have very much enjoyed this and I'm very surprised. So yeah, it's on Ichio. It's free. If you want to go and have a look, if you want to continue, if you want to go and do the planes and beyond, then yeah, go and grab it. It's free. You can tip the creator if you so wish. If you want to do that, that is your want. You can do it via itch. And um, yeah, go and check it out if this looks interesting. I have had fun and I think I'm going to keep my eye on this. I'll keep my eye on it and follow it through and just see what happens with it. Because I think it is very interesting and holds a lot of promise. But we are done with it for the now. If you did enjoy this, which I hope you did. I hope you did because they had cute cats and they were like fighting cats and farming cats. So what's not to like? So if you did like it, then please do leave a like. And also please do subscribe to keep up to date with all the other stuff that we get up to. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard. And I will see you next time. Oh no, not the piggy wigs. Want them to be healthy. Happy pigs, please. Raspberries, raspberries, raspberries everywhere. I went through and sold a load of turkeys as well. And they still come back. They're still coming back to haunt me. The storm moisture's going down. We need rain. We need rain. What's going... <laughs>